Pete, good morning. Hey, guys. You okay? Totally fine. Well, it's afternoon over there where you at, so I know yeah. what's going on over there. 7 p.m. Yeah, Go ahead and introduce yeah. yourself to everybody, so let us know where you're coming in. Yeah, guys. Uh, my name's Keith Mason. Uh, I'm an ex-professional rugby league player. Played for 14 years. Uh, I'm a comic book creator, Rugby Blood. It's uh, going to be a film, a TV series, clothing line, sportswear. Uh, and I've been doing a bit of acting since, since I retired from, from rugby league. Uh, I got into acting through Mickey Rock and uh, I've been getting after it ever since, guys. Awesome. Let's dive into thinking, go rich and success principles. You've had a very successful career and you're on your path to do a lot of different things with your brand, obviously different companies, different materials. What are some of the success principles that you have used so far that you could give us some kind of insight on that we should be mindful of? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, being a professional sportsman from 17 years of age, uh, I played for 14 years. And what I've done is I've took all the good and all the bad from the sport. Because obviously when you play professional sport, you play as a team. Uh, you know, you gotta, you got to be courageous. you got to be fit. you got to look after yourself. you got to be the, the complete package. And I think... For me, going into the, the next stage of, of my career, uh, for any sportsman, it's very difficult to transition from being a professional sportsman then and going into your next chapter of your life. A lot of sportsmen struggle, whereas I've always been an ambitious guy. So, you know, I've kind of learned along the way and I've, I've picked up stuff and I've learned to screenwrite. There's my graphic novel, guys. Uh, you know, I've learned to screenwrite uh, write movies, uh, starting films, you know, so basically I've, I've adapted and overcome, you know, and, and I've, I've took the two things that I live by, what I have in my back pocket every single day, and that's consistency and discipline. Because without those two, we cannot achieve anything, you know, and, and I think when you're doing it for yourself and not trying to do it for somebody else and you, you, you want it to get to a certain space in your life, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of hard work and consistency and it, and it takes to have a good team around you a good team in meaning a partner who supports you it could be your business partners who believe in you you know i really think it's important that you have a, a good crowd around you because you show me a crowd and i'll show you your future uh there's a there's a lot of things there that i can you know i can pass it to you guys and and tell you what works for me uh i am a fitness buff i'm in the gym every day which is you know it sorts my mentality out but uh it's just one of the must I need to do every single day for my mind and my body and my spirit. So I do stay in shape. Uh, I've got some film roles coming up at the end of this year, early next year. Uh, I'm looking at coming over to Hollywood, uh, probably in February, March. I've also got Rugby Blood, which is a graphic novel, the first ever rugby league graphic novel in history. So it's the first ever graphic novel comic book about a rugby star. And that guy is called David King. And it's actually based on my childhood. So it shows you the origins of how David King becomes a star. So we've got a bit of a autobiog autobiography uh, and a fictionalized story. Uh, but my beginnings were quite tough. You know, I was in a lot of trouble with the police. Uh, you know, I had to, you know, my beginnings was not very, not easy. But I believe that your struggles develop your strengths and, and your storms make you stronger. And, uh, you know, I get up every single day, my back's against the wall, and I get after it. You know, my, my partner, if you don't know this, she's a super inspiring lady, but she's paralyzed. You know, she, she, she had a spinal stroke uh, about four years ago, and uh, she lost all her feeling from her waist down. But because she's incomplete, she, uh, she can get up on her feet and she can walk. She just can't feel her legs. And uh, I've just actually produced uh, a short documentary film, which is going around the film circuits now festivals about our story and how I came into her life and how I helped to walk again. You know, so there's inspiration around me all the time, you know, and, and I look I'm, from, from being a sportsman, from, from when I came as a kid, I wasn't supposed to make it. Uh, and I realized that just the obsessiveness of wanting to become somebody actually got me to become somebody. But listen, guys, it never ends. The grind and the hustle never ends. And if you get used to that, I mean, enjoy that and embrace it, it becomes who we are as, as human beings. 
we become these winners and we can take the knockbacks and we can roll with the punches. Uh, but two things that you should keep hold of, and that's being consistent. You know, we can have a day off, we can have two days off. You know, sometimes you might feel burned out. Have a rest, chill out. You know, look at your circumstances, look what you're doing wrong and look what you're doing right. Uh, and discipline. You know, I don't drink. I've got, you know, a family, I've got six children. I've got four stepchildren, two children. You know, them kids look up to me and they look up to daddy to be like an hero, like a, a big, strong man. Uh, but when I'm out there in the open, you know, I am a businessman. I am an actor. I am getting after it. But I'm getting after it for all the right reasons. I'm not getting after it because I want to go out and drink and go party and pick up some chicks because I've got a, got a chick here, right here. I don't need that. You know, I, I've done that when I was a young kid. But, you know, my, 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 me now is I've got goals I want to achieve. I'm in a very blessed position. Uh, I don't have any negative people around me. Uh, I think that's really important. Uh, Ruby Blood was an idea of mine. Uh, I, I, I wrote a film script. I sent the film script. This was my first film script, by the way. So I sent this film script down to Pinewood Studios, one of the biggest film studios in the world. Uh, and they got back in touch with me. Me just thinking, I'll just send the script, you know, nothing will come back. And two weeks later, I got an, I got an email off, uh, off a film producer called Deborah Wooten. And she's asked me to go down to uh, Pinewood Studios. A lad from the North going to Pinewood Studios, being an athlete all his life, then going through the studios, it was just so surreal and bizarre. You know, you've got Daniel Craig over there doing the 007 film. You've got the Star Wars soundstage over there. You know, and it basically, it just gave me that confidence to think, do you know what? This is my first script. I've, I've written a script and big film studios want to make it. And they still want to make it. But what I did is, and I used my head, you know, surprised myself along the way. I came up with an idea for a comic, for an Origins comic. Basically, the comic takes place before the film. So he shows you David King as a, as a young kid. Uh, he doesn't have any superpowers. What David King has got, what is really important for kids to read this in tech and anybody in general, is David King as self-belief, true grit, and a never give up attitude to save the world and save the world with his friends. And kids need to see that. People need to see that, that life isn't easy, but we give it a good go. And we take care of yourself in the process. You can't be saying stuff, being motivational and inspirational, and then be at the club on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, because, because <laughs> you're just a hypocrite. Listen, we've all been there. We will all go through them stages. And we all want to be this person. But until you get fully disciplined and all in on what you want to achieve in life, whether it's spiritual, mental or anything else, you cannot cut corners, simple as that. And I know that. And every single day, you know, I'm so blessed that I'm hungry. I'm hungrier than ever right now. I'm hungrier than ever because an idea, a vision became a reality, right? I went to Super League. Bedford Super League is the biggest league in the, in, in the UK, uh, endorsed by Bedford. And I wanted to speak to, I went through my lawyer, I wanted to speak to Robert Elston, who was the new CEO of uh, Super League. He was at Ever Everton Football Club, the Premier League. He was there for about 10 years. So he's come from a billion dollar industry to a multi-million dollar industry. But what Robert wanted to do is to shake up the, the league, bring something brand new. And that's where I came in. Ex-player, ex you know, I played the game. I played over here for 12 years, Australia for two years, played for my country. And I, and I came in with the project and I said, listen, Ruby Blood, there's nothing like it in the whole world. It's, uh, it's the first of its kind. Uh, it's, it's got the comic book story to it, but it's got a real life rugby star feature in it, because obviously the guy's me. But what I did is I've reached out to the best players in the world, the best players in Australia, the best players in New Zealand, Fiji, England, and I've now got 40 players 40 of the world's best players attached to Ruby Blood, they're going to be featuring in this as comic book characters, heroes. I don't think there's anything like that on the planet. You know, so here's, here's, Keith, here's my question. 
there is a lot of new entrepreneurs, regardless of what their background is. It could be in sports. It could be in business. It could be just a, a housewife. It could be just a nine to five job. My question is this. How do you bring, how do you find that self motivation to keep you going when things are not going as fast as you like them to be? or the results are not still there yet to see. Mm-hmm. I haven't made a millions of dollars, so how do I keep myself motivated to make it to there? How, how, what, were, what were some of the techniques that you used? Because you're a family man, you got kids, you got wife to take care of, you got all this stuff. How did you do it? I want some practical ways so new entrepreneurs could take that in tomorrow, implement it. Well, listen guys, I'll give you a really quick, uh a really quick filter here and how to start quickly and, and build that momentum up. What I do, I have a whiteboard, right? A whiteboard. And even on the morning or the night before, I'll write down the three or four things I need to do. Because remember, we don't have to do a million things in one at once. If we do the right things every single day and over time, it's going to compound. So them little wins will lead into big wins. And this is where consistency and discipline comes in. You put the targets down. Right, I want to go to the gym at 6 a.m. I go to the gym. I'm going to take the kids to school. That's a must. I take the kids to school, drop them off, 8 a.m. I come home. I have a conference call. I ring my business partner. Uh, I ring the clothing company, O'Neill Sportswear, which is this. Uh, it's one of the biggest. It's the biggest sporting brand in Ireland. I've just signed a deal with uh, O'Neill's to... to, to uh, Sorry, to, to create a merchandising of rugby blood, clothing, hats, tracksuits. This is in the space of that being launched four months ago to now being endorsed by O'Neill's and obviously Amazon Prime want to do a documentary on it. Uh, I'm sorry, I've just jumped over there. Uh, no, no, back, you're on the right track. Keep going. You're, you're on the yeah, right track. Go ahead. Going back to why all this has happened is because I locked myself away for two years, right? When I retired, I went, I went through a, a very difficult time. I struggled. I was lost. Big, strong guy. Did, couldn't turn to anybody. You know, I'm supposed to be the guy who's strong. And, you know, and I, and I, su- and I did suffer with a little, a little bit of a depression. And, you know, I was going out, drinking a lot, putting stuff in my body and should have been putting in. And uh, it came to a point where I was on my ass. I lost, it. I lost everything. You know, and you, you, it only reveals your true character when you lose everything and you realize that God shows you who's real and who's not real. So the next time you get back up there, yeah, you know, the people knocking on your door and the people who were supposed to be your friends, when you were down and your friends went, boom, see you later, bye-bye. But now I'm back up there, my life is so happy because all these fake friends and all these fake people I had around me were just baggage. They were baggage, honestly. And I just, I got my self-worth back. I realized that what I'm doing it, because you've got to have a why, why you're doing it, because you can't just be doing it for yourself. Maybe you're doing it to make your mom proud of you, you know, make your kids proud of you, make your partner proud of you, or maybe you're just trying to prove to yourself that you can be somebody. And it's got to come from within. It's your pickup skills along the way, but it's here. You've got to think you're a champion. You don't have to be Muhammad Ali. You don't have to be a World Cup winner. You don't have to be a great rugby player. But if the mindset is a winning mindset, even though we have bad days and we have lulls and stuff. If you stay consistent and disciplined and you have a focus and a clear vision of what you want to do, you will get it. You will get there. And I do about four or five must-dos on a whiteboard. So it's my physical fitness is, is important. My mental fitness. So it could be me going for long... When I, when I go for long walks, I get the best ideas in my head. And I live in the hills up in Halifax, and I go for big long walks, like seven hikes, seven mile hikes with the dog. I come back and I feel re- refreshed and rejuvenated. Uh, you know, some people don't get the chance to do that because I'm lucky enough that I have a lot of time to to build my businesses up, whereas some people are in nine to five jobs. But remember, guys, you've got to put the work in. You've got to put the work in, and if you're struggling, trust me. Sometimes I think that the Lord whether you're religious or not, he puts these obstacles up in front of you to test you. But when you come through the other side, you become a bigger, stronger, better human being. 
And this is what we've got to do. We've got to keep knocking these walls down, keep knocking them down. And that's why I think that being in physical shape, not Johnny Bravo, but being in physical shape prepares you for the world because the world's tough. It's tough. You need to be tough here. You might have a tough mind, but you need to have a tough body to go with it. You know, we're not, I'm not talking about you need to go and put the singlet on and go down to the gym, go down to the beach and pause off and stuff. I'm on about mind, body, and spirit. And uh, that's the way I do it, man. And, and I've got my, my, my partner, you know, she only suffered a stroke uh, New Year's Eve, just gone. And I promised her 2019 it's going to be the best year of our lives. And it's been good so far, but I'll tell you something, it's been because I'm obsessed. And I've been obsessed. And it was that setback that threw me into a major comeback. I agree with that. Keith, thank you so much for sharing. I'm looking forward to seeing the brand, the documentary, the whole shebang. You and I are going to be in contact for sure. I Absolutely. think your story is worth telling. I think a lot of people need to hear that so they get that motivation and inspiration to see you know, individuals like yourself make it so they can have a hope that, hey, you know what? I'm going through struggles. I'm going through challenges. But if Keith could do it, I could do it too. So I agree with that. Keep setting the right example for a younger generation, man. Because I know a lot of people look up to you, especially when I was checking out your Instagram account. Man, you got some diehard fans, man. You got, <laughs> you got them locked up to you. Damn. I want to grow up, be just like Keith. I was like, damn, this guy's got it made. So I appreciate you taking this time out of your busy time and being with us. You and I are going to definitely collaborate. If you ever come down to L.A., you know, you, you and I need to do a couple of videos together. So I'm over there, ne there next year in LA. Uh, so we can we can probably do a video. I'm off down to Huntington Beach to see a friend. And definitely, I'll, definitely. I'll, I'll drift into Hollywood to see if I can get a film role. But I got into the films with uh, Mickey Rock. So uh, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of me. Don't worry, guys. Done deal. I appreciate it. Oh, Thank you so much. Looking forward to it, brother. Looking forward to it. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Yes.